So what we're looking at is the whole entire testicle here, but the slide we're going to look at is really just covering these here, which are the seminiferous tubules. Right here, these, this is a structure called the RET testes, or RET, R-E-T-E testes, and they basically connect the seminiferous tubules to this structure out here, which is the epididymis. And so those are the three things that make up the human testy. We have slides of two of them. We have slides of the epididymis, as well as the uh, seminiferous tubules. But we'll be looking at the seminiferous tubules right now. That away. And so here's what those seminiferous tubules look like when they're, we're not zoomed in much. And again, we're just looking right where I made that X on the drawing. And as we get closer, we can zoom in on one seminiferous tubule. Then you get to actually see some detail that's kind of cool. And so, this is the lumen right in here where you're actually producing spermatozoa. They're not called sperm yet. They're not mature. They're not quite functioning. But visually, that's kind of what they look like. You can sort of see their little skinny heads right here. And their tails, you can't really see, but they would be coming off right here, kind of developing before they're released free to travel off to the epididymis. Around the outside, though, you can see cells that start here. The development starts here in those nice, dense nuclei, and they, it proceeds this way until those cells are totally developed into the spermatozoa. Together, all, most of the cells, 99% of the cells that are within one seminiferous tubule, those are our spermatogenic cells. They look different as they go through each step, but they're all called spermatogenic cells. There's one other type of cell that you have to pick out that's within the seminiferous tubule. And we can see a number of them around here, and they're called, they have like three different names, but they're called the sustentacular cells. There's one, oh, switch to the pen. There's one right here. There's one right down here. There's another one right here. Where else? Another one here with this little bit, oh, little bit darker cytoplasm. Another one there there, and so as you see, they're mostly around the periphery of the seminiferous tubule, but what they all have in common is you see how they all have this very small nucleus compared to all the rest of the cells? That's pretty much how you pick them out. They're, everything else that's going on in a seminiferous tubule has these large nuclei with condensed chromosomes, but the sustentacular cells don't. <laughs> see you later, me. Um, see ya. And they actually have this very small nucleus. And so you're going to see those. So does that make sense to you? I'm just picking out each one. And so the rest of them are spermatogenic. These are our sustentacular, also known as nurse cells, um, also known as uh, Sertoli cells is the other name for them. Uh, but what they're doing is basically keeping the environment ideal for these, this spermatogenesis that's going on. The whole process is called spermatogenesis, what we're seeing here. And then the one other thing that you can see in this slide is these interstitial areas, the areas that are between each seminiferous tubule. These cells are called interstitial cell Sertoli cells, or sorry, interstitial cells of Leydig, sorry, not Sertoli cells. But I like to just call them interstitial cells because that tells you exactly where they are. Right. And their function is to secrete testosterone. So here's where the testosterone comes from. Spermatogenesis is within the seminiferous tubules. Between the seminiferous tubules is where the testosterone is coming. And that's pretty much it. And that's it for the seminiferous tubules. So a couple different cells within the seminiferous tubules, and then one cell outside of the seminiferous tubules, and the structure itself is pretty easy to pick out. Zoomed out again, it looks like that. It's pretty straightforward.